Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosberg from Hospital for Special Surgery. We're going to talk about tibia lengthening using the magnetic motorized intramedullary nail. First step is fibula osteotomy, which is done by making three uh, small drill holes in the bone. This is followed by completion of the osteotomy with an osteotome to achieve a low energy osteotomy. Next, through a minimal incision approach, the first step of the tibia osteotomy is performed by making multiple drill holes. This is done through a limited incision. This is the first step of the osteotomy, and it allows bone marrow to egress during the reaming, which you can see over here. The canal is reamed to prepare the canal. Guide wire is removed. The entry is through the proximal anterior tibia. Stymon pins are inserted to mark the rotation. The nail is inserted up to the osteotomy site, and an osteotome is used to complete the osteotomy. Once this is done, the nail is then passed across the osteotomy and optimally seated. The bones are rotated around the intramedullary nail to, complete, to confirm that the osteotomy is complete but the rotational markers make sure that rotational deformity is not created. Interlocking screws are then inserted proximally with the use of a jig, and then distally they are inserted using a freehand technique. Fibula length stabilization screws are necessary during tibia lengthening to make sure that the fibula lengthens along with the tibia. Two screws are placed, one proximal and one distal. After one week, the distraction starts, and a, a motorized remote control is used. We typically lengthen the tibia at 0.25 millimeters three times per day. And you can see gradually there is an increase in distraction so that after 33 days, 25 millimeters is achieved. Once the full length has been obtained, consolidation begins, and that is the mineralization and hardening of the regenerate. This shows a gradual consolidation and calcification of both the fibula and the tibia lengthening sites. Once enough bone healing has been achieved, the patient is fully weight-bearing. Now we typically remove these implants after about a year. It's an ambulatory surgery where the uh, interlocking screws and the fibula length stabilization screws are removed. and then the intramedullary nail is easily removed through a small incision from the anterior proximal end of the tibia. I hope that this has been an um, interesting and informative review of tibia lengthening using the telescopic motorized intramedullary nail.